Hello and welcome forward to Mickey Art. Yay! We are back on a Balafonte Returns to Carnegie Hall. Jump down and spin it. Oh, maybe I won't use this one. Um, no, I want to use that one because I want to make a, another acrylic pour. Another um, flip and drag, but white with the same colours. So I'm going to... Oh, it says jump down and spin around. It's so di just like saying, do a spin on me. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it for you. What other songs have we got on here? Suzanne, a little lyric of great importance. Chickens. <laughs> oh, crikey. I do adore her. Oh, it's addressed to all of you. Look, look, look. It says, I do adore her. And her and him. I'm going to put a slash him. I adore you all. I'm so grateful you guys come and watch me paint. I have so much fun making these videos for you guys, playing with you on the live videos. So let's play. Let's play, baby. Let's play, baby. Come on. So once again, I am just like in the last video, I am going to use one of these lids. Um, it's off a paint tube. I normally use Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic. Um, not their intro acrylic. Their better quality one. Just because I like quality, baby. Um, let's get this out. Will it come out? I need it to come out. I want it to come out. Can I come out wherever you are before you break my paintbrush? So this is the dry, caked and leftover bit of paint that was left in the tube all those days ago. Oh, here comes Damien. How did I get so lucky? Uh, okay, I'm going to get this out. Oh, no, there it is. Got it. Hey, Dame OD. Hi. How you doing? Good. Awesome. Hello. Right, got it out. And Damien has cuddled me and gone on his way. How did I get so lucky? He's such a sweet, gorgeous boy. And I'm missing Aiden. He's in China. He'll be nearly home by the time you guys see this. But All right. Oh, yes, it's stinky. This is the house paint. So I'm going to see how runny it is. I mm, think I'm going to thin it down a little. All right. Magic. It's thinner. Yay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flip cup. And I'm going to do a flip cup with the same colors as I did in the last video. If you watch to the end, because that was a absolute marathon of a video, that was. Uh, but the black and white are going to be reversed. So I'm going to put just, I'm not going to put anywhere near as much black in as I did before. So we've got purple. This is made of um, cerulean blue and crimson red we've got viridian hue we've got some vermilion orange oops i don't want that there i don't want that there either did you know that paint splattered 
clothes are in fashion. I didn't. Orly told me. Any of you have come across Orly? She's a the DIY designer. And there's all the yellow that's going in there. Let's put some more black. I shouldn't have put any yellow in. Far too much yellow. Let's try and turn it to green with some blue. Now all of these colours do have silicon in them. The house paint does not. And all of these colours, except for the crimson red that is in the purple, are Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic. Crikey! I am shocking. Now, I mix all my paints with Floetrol and water. And what else do I do? Um, dribble some white into there because I can. And as you can see there, I paint over the label of the record with Mars Black straight from the tube and let it set for a good couple of weeks before you use it. Uh, you, it really is just to try and lock in the dyes in the label. This label, as I showed you before, is black and I'm about to pour white paint on top. Who knows what this is going to do if that doesn't work. So, worst comes to worst, we're just going to have a black ring seeping through to give us a centre point for our clock face. How's it getting any better than that? My favourite question and when things like that happen is, what's right about this that I'm not getting? <laughs> One of my favourite access consciousness questions. Now, okay, so we have a complete coverage of white paint. As I was saying, that's house paint, it stinks. <laughs> um, and it is spring indoor outdoor semi gloss. From Bunnings. If you're from New Zealand or Australia, you'll be able to find it in the paint department. It is the cheapest one they have. It's awesome. And that one is mixed with Floetrol and water, but also I pop some PVA glue in there just to give it a little bit more oomph. A little bit more sticky power, literally, because it's glue. All right. I'm going to rinse my hands and then we're going to flip. I said rinse, I didn't mean clean. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little cup and we're going to do our little flip. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. Now, why am I using the lid of a, uh, a paint? tube you may ask because it has a built-in airflow <laughs> you don't have to pierce the bottom of a plastic cup and then throw the cup away and I'm going to see how well the using the lid works the handle. It's looking pretty good according to me. It's still got paint coming out of there.
we go, pretty much empty. Let's see what it does. And while we wait, I'm just going to pick up some of this overrun and just pour it into there because I scraped it down to the plastic there. Not my ideal. If we can fill it back up, we won't need to tilt to fill, we'll just fill it. Oh, there's another one over here as well. This one I'm just going to pour beside it and hopefully it will flood in and push it over. Alright, I am seeing little cells forming, tiny, tiny, tiny little cells. Let me zoom you in and see if we can show you them. See those tiny, tiny, tiny little lacing almost I don't know what's going on with my tripod it is not particularly easy to adjust at the moment but it's these bigger cells that I'm after so let's torch baby So the flame is not going anywhere near the paint. We're not in any risk of burning the paint as long as we keep it moving. All we're doing is warming the paint, warming the oil so that the oil can bloom up through the paint. Oil rises on water, did you know that? Oh, I like it. That looks like a fish tail over there. But I really like this bit. I like it. I like it. I like it. Not so fast. The question is, do I even stretch it? Let's just give you a bit of a close-up. I think what I might do before I touch it is just pause the video and take some photos. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back as soon as I've done that. Okay, so before I tilt, and I am going to tilt just a little bit. Just going to pop those centre point bubbles. And I'm just going to tilt the whole thing that way. Cross fingers. My target is to try and stretch it out a little bit. We're quite heavy on the side. Definitely moved. The center has moved about mm, three quarters of an inch to an inch. I'm gonna lose my fish tail, but that's okay.
paint isn't going off over that edge. That's right about that. I'm not getting. No, that's enough. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me get you down and show you close up because this. I'm just wondering. There's a couple of patches that I'm thinking I might torch again, other than that center bit. No, no, I'm going to leave them alone. I like it. Now that's going to come out a lot different to the previous one. <laughs> Which of course, you guys have already seen the finished result of the previous one. I haven't. So how did you get so lucky? Um, if you haven't seen it, it'll be in the in the end cards at the end of the video you'll be able to pop back and see the previous video I like I really like okay let me get you down okay I'm gonna start in the middle and work out <laughs> I think we're still getting air bubbles growing up through that down the bottom middle so I'm guessing I didn't seal the sellotape very well. Um, this piece here. Oh! Oh, oh, I'm going back. I'm going back. There we go. Go back. There we go. That looks like. I've got penguins on the mind. That looks like a penguin sitting on a giant egg <laughs> or a boulder, but you know. Oh, that's what I see anyway. What do you see in that? And this one. This one's a bit interesting. The colours are doing weird breaky uppy stuff. That's okay. This patch here is just amazing. And that looks, that's just fun. Oh, loving it. Let's keep going around. I love these big cells that happen when you do flip and drags like this. See that, that there is a cell where the silicon's come up and exposed the white underneath. This patch is amazing. I like it. I like it a lot, I do. I do that, lass and lad. This looks like the underside of some beetle. Maybe a dead cockroach. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Never thought of a dead cockroach being beautiful. Now that looks like a dead zombie. Pile of skulls. I'm not really sure. Let's move on. And then the fish tail went over the side. So I like it guys. I'm really pleased with this. The only problems with flip and drags is you don't get runoff that's not white. <laughs> so sorry. No um cabochons today. I like it. Let and let's see how it dries. I'm wondering what all those little 
bubbles in the middle are going to do. Look at them. Having a little party there. That's all right. They are white. They're in the middle. It's exactly where the clock hands would come through if we made this into a clock. Uh, totally fine, guys. Totally fine. They will bubble themselves out and I can always fill them back up with paint later. So, there we are. Let's have a look what it looks like when it's dry. In three, two, one. Alright, somebody posted on the Facebook group, Acrylic Prong for Fun, a picture of their fingers. They put three fingers in, but I only put in one. I'm a bit annoyed with myself, I might say. <laughs> so, this has been drying for... Oh, I don't know what day was that. It's been about four days, and it's still not dry. There was what looked like a... Um, a bump where the paper had sort of where the moisture had got in underneath the label and popped it up and I was like oh oh oops so we now have a bumpity lumpily swirly whirly in the wet paint but I can fix that that's no problem um but I just wanted to show you, it has dried, well, <laughs> almost dried. This, okay, let's see if the wind, the wind, the light can catch it so that you can see the difference between dry and wet. All right, so be willing to look and be aware and not be a dilly billy like I'm being tonight so busy organizing all my classes for May I need to put my newsletter out for all my access consciousness classes I'm doing this month and um I was like oh I need to go and record an ending to, for the video so my apologies I am not being present with the painting today but that's okay it still looks fantastic and it was in a white spot I could like do something interesting there once it's dried. <laughs> could sand it back and just repaint it. Who knows what I could do? Oh, that's okay. So pretty much it has stayed as it was before. It really is still looking beautiful. I do love it. Um, so there we go. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so it's been a long time since I've done a proper flip and drag. And I had fun. And I got some good stuff out of it. And I'm really pleased with it. So uh, if anybody loves it and wants to put their hand up to see how I fix that. <laughs> and then buy it. Um... On approval of course once I've fixed it please let me know um, I am going to be sending out an email really 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 soon so if you see this in the first probably seven hours of this video being posted you still got time to sign up on my email list and receive the notification of when I'm going live next. Sorry, Australia, it is going to be too early for you guys. But Europe, it should be early enough for you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to um, make it so that I can have my beautiful friends from the UK and Europe um, join me. So come and play. Sign up today if you haven't already signed up and you will be receiving an email from me in the next little time um, to tell you when that next call, the uh, next live video will be. 
So come and play with us on that. Come play with us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Stick it up your nose with a rubber hose. I don't know. I think that's all I'm on, actually. Instagram, Facebook. Um, I want to say Twitter, but that's my XSU account. Uh, YouTube. And how does it get better than this? That's all I can say. I adore you all. And I will see you in a another video. Bye-bye.